So I'm hoping I had a thought last week of where to put this item. And I thought, well, it was hung on something, a, a wrench, a hook that looked like this. So I wanted to try the place where it was hung, because it's the one that looked just like that. I mean, it's, it's where we got it from, and I haven't seen anything that looks similar to that, so I'm thinking this will be the right place. do anything there. Really, really wanted it to fit there for some. But it's just, it just doesn't want to do it, so. Eh, my mistake. Okay. What else looks like this? Be a decoration? filigree of one of the panels. But if it doesn't want me... Oh! Speaking of, was, I read the, the plaque on this side and I failed to notice that it has a screw or a nut that fits the shape. So let's try it there. That. And lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Aha! And that looks like a lens that we might be able to put into our uh, particular looking eyepiece. Inventory object found, a lens. It looks like it would fit in the eyepiece, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Right, let's wear it. Oh, that chills my bones. I am uh, freaked out just by the music alone. Yikes. Okay. That looks ominous. A hand or a scratch. Touched it and scratched it. Not satanic at all, right? Yeah, and there's a hand there. At this, I mean, it could be paint that just dripped down. I know that's the sound of me stepping in the room, but it honestly, um, it feels like there's someone in the room with me. And I'm scared. Oh, definitely a scary room. Okay, um, I want to say maybe it's compass point. Two, three, six. Okay, I think it's the same symbol that's on top here. Box is.
This looks like like a jacked the box is the same added on the same three pieces. There's an S shape outlined. Ah, so the same three pieces match the other side, and it should be one, two, three if they match the other side with the same handprint. So we may need to click those three. Click them before and nothing happened. Maybe they their S shape. floor, each, each place the foot is on, that's the same circle, and it's all around us. Simple. As well as on the far wall that we can see over there. If we can figure out what the symbols mean. The numbers, maybe? Let's count them. Two. Eight, nine. Sixteen. I believe there are some Repeated, maybe it's a cipher. Well, it repeats two, three, four, five, six, seven. Quite the same symbols. Take those off. So let's go for trying to piece this over here. Okay, let's put the eyepiece back on. And we want to press these three or no, these are filled in. I think it's the other three, and on the other side. Okay, so these are still there, which I think means that the ones, the three on the right half, need to be pressed in.
and the key to anything because I still have the key. Ticking doesn't kill any. This is the next piece. But it's matching, I think, what's it called? Get it to move it. Okay, you can. Names. over there door I can't get myself to side.
I need to turn the key again. So we left it with the opening for the other one, so now we have to fix it. It looks like that. time. I am hoping the thing won't stall. So I am going to pause this briefly and escape and resume just so that it doesn't stall out the game. Guys, pause it so it's not drawing energy because I think this high GPU yeah, I have a lot of drop frames and slow frames. All right, let's get to the battle. And who am I cursing? I don't want to curse these guys. There are Cleatrals level five. Spine creatures. I think these will be closer to our people. First, those and start it. Okay, great. Congratulations, we won. Oh, and me placing uh, my people next to um, next to the villagers did nothing. Thought they would stay there, but I guess they don't. Which is fine. Let's open the chest to see what we got. This was a hard level, so hopefully we got something appropriate. Buster and a Berserker Stroll. Like those. Winners Satan Bra and Romeo Alpha Yankee. Congratulations on scrolls. Let's go back to the map. Please don't stall and die. This is where we kind of stopped last time. Okay, no. All right, got my uh, Turian scrolls, I think. No, my Templar scrolls. Well, if I can't get it, it's fine. Freeze, that's where it froze last time. There we go, Templar scrolls. Shut down my other game. Just free up. Yeah, 
hopefully that'll free up. Yep, that's it. So unfortunately, Groom just takes way too much processing power on my poor old laptop. All right. So we have two paths for the next one. I think we'll do one more and then call it. Ooh, loyalty skin chest for someone. 15 chance me. And then you guys get more skins. So I'm gonna go for the skin chest so that you guys get more options. All right, and my healer is 25 minutes away, so I gotta pick my archer. All right, my archer has been placed. And let's resume with the room if it will cooperate this time. So now we have learned I need to turn off Steam when I want to do stream readers the games. Yeah, that ticking is not annoying at all. Alright. So I wanted to make this look like a square with a thing at the bottom and then be like a thing at the top. I think I set it. I don't know if it saved my setting, so let's try it. have that key in our inventory, definitely be able to use it again. So there are one, two, three, four discs to rotate. Four discs. There are that's here. Oh, here we go. So I have to ideally make this match up. supposed to grab that run it which 
could grab what? Some way for me to make the markings up here. Oh. That seems... Is it just me or do the markings on that seem to line up now that I'm looking at the angle. That's supposed to match up with that. Uh, yes, I'm looking at it with an eyepiece lens. seem to match there. The X and the thing. The other thing. That thing there. Oh! that yet with that window I mean from this vantage point to me it looks like it might match that window Oh, I haven't tried looking fire symbol. If they have any markings.
Kiwa mkawajani. Hey, Scruffy. Thanks for coming by. What are you doing tonight? You came at a moment where I'm stumped at what I'm looking at. Apparently I also can't chat. There we go. Sorry, my stream is lagging. <laughs> Sorry, my um, my processing is being taken up a lot by the game. That might be affecting the audio. Yeah, everything else on my stream seems to be uh, lagging greatly, and I'm dropping frames like crazy. Just lower the audio. Uh, yeah, I need six more to get my 30 motes. So far, I just have two slots. See if I can lower the audio. This is dad. Oh, thank you for that sub. I appreciate that. It's gonna help me on my way. My uh, my artist is working on my. Throat. You're so sweet. I really appreciate that. Oh, all these people got uh, subs. Thank you so much. They're all quality people. Shoot. Can't seem to fix the audio on my end. Sorry about that. stop the, the game altogether. Which I might have to again. Yeah, a, a few of them from uh, Twitch things, right? Yeah, definitely sexy. Lower the volume, see if that'll help any. graphic settings. I guess I need to lower it just a tad more because just sucking up so much. Hopefully it looks something. Oh, you know, Darth, too. Yeah. Darth's good. He's usually on at this hour telling me to go to bed because I'm uh, up too late. Uh, but he's also like a night owl working. Um, so I got upset when he was telling me to go to bed. Uh, he's like, he, he wasn't telling me to stop watching because usually I'm watching um, Jigoku no Inu stream. 
during the weeknights. So I'm watching him and he's like, just go to bed. Yeah, because he works, he works, um, I think, at a hotel late hours. Um, so he's like, no, don't go to sleep. Just go to bed and then watch, you know, from bed, which makes more sense to me. Let's see if the audio is any better now. If I can listen on. hearing too much crackle some pops maybe okay then I think it was just too high for stream but thank you for telling me that now I know to have it at a lower lower level I haven't gotten very far on this, so I'm not sure how much I can do. I'm going to go until my next Dream Raiders battle, and then uh, I'll sleep on it till the next time I play this. It looks good when I watch other people play it, and they're cracking and solving puzzles like crazy. Um, I'm a little bit slower and more methodical about doing that. I am definitely a fan of turtles. Um, I am a Polynesian dancer, or I was before COVID. Uh, so I'm a fan of Hawaiian culture and Polynesian culture. And one of the motifs is the green turtle on everything they call Honu. So I adore turtles. I had pet turtles as a kid. So I decided when I was going to do my stream and my channel, it was going to be mostly Hawaiian. You can kind of see it in my design. Switch, switch scenes really quickly. Kind of see it. It's like I have my I have Polynesian turtles. I, I wanted them to be prominent. Um, I did not dance professionally per se. I started this um, almost 20 years ago. Um, started taking classes through a park and rec. And then our teacher did have a professional dance company. So as we improved, got better, had more um, experience we'd go and do like community shows but as well as perform at festivals some of our kids went to competitions some of our groups went to competitions um, so we travel all over California and uh, there's competitions in Nevada that we go to I haven't done it in a bit. My house is full of costumes I haven't touched in a long time. Um, I do uh, Hawaiian, Tahitian, uh, I do Samoan, Maori from New Zealand, which I absolutely love. And that's my favorite. I actually swing koi balls. If you ever seen like fire dancers at festivals, um, they're swinging fire poi um, and doing like you know, like, uh, what do you call it? Like glow stick moves and waving them around. Um, I do that without the fire because I would definitely set my hair on fire. But we have some boys in our group that had learned the Samoan fire knife. Um, I'm, I'm not going to mess with fire knife. Just simply, I don't want to, I don't want to injure myself more than just getting bonked on the head. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. 
Um, so if you've ever seen the New Zealand rugby team, they do haka at the beginning of each game. So um, the guys in our group get to do that, which is fun. I wish I had more for uh, women to do that. Um, I love to like paint my face and go, you know, err and do like motions like that. Uh, but we're supposed to be uh, sweet and dainty, so it's uh, it's something I wish we had numbers for. And uh, one of our teachers kind of had come up with a, a song or a dance like that, uh, but there's not too many opportunities for for women in hakas except for being like dressing on the back. But it's so it's so cool. It, it requires a lot of skill. To do it um, and I enjoy it. Although I'm not in competition form or performance form yet, I need to go back and start doing it once everything normalizes and I can uh, return to my you know, rigorous dance schedule when I have time after work. This work comes first. But yeah, it's just it's hobby time. Like two, three times a week is the more, the most I can devote to it. Especially when we're, um, most everybody that's part of it, you know, has, you know, IRL jobs, but we devote a lot of time to it. Uh, certainly here in the Bay Area, there's a few Hawaiian schools and Polynesian schools. Um, and if you join those, it's, uh, it's a lot of involvement, costume making, time commitments, and even the family gets involved. Um, I work at a law firm, so I do have a normal nine to five. Um, I have worked remotely since COVID started, so my schedule has opened up a bit. And for the most part, I can say, you know, I'm gonna take off for performances. Um, and now that I don't have to do my long commute, that's definitely helpful. Still, you know, it's, it's it's something that we try to fit into our schedule as much as we can because we definitely enjoy it. I miss going to the festivals to get all the good um, Hawaiian food and Hawaiian treats. Not to mention going to Hawaii. You go to Hawaii once a year to get my Hawaiian fix. So if I can start traveling to Hawaii again, I'm definitely going to do it because I miss it. And I get to see a lot of green turtles when I'm in Hawaii. So back to the turtles. Yeah, I think I heard you mention that on, on stream. I think it was about having all the All the screens and we have like I think someone was saying they have uh, two three screens whatever I'm like I only work uh, with my laptop so I just have the one screen other people have like you know I have my second laptop you know if they're watching twitch or whatever but for me I'm just working off my laptop although now I'm like hooked like I have to be on twitch all the time I was five days in the office and I wasn't a fan of going remote because I just don't have an office setup. I don't have an ergonomic setup. They gave us furniture allowance, so I bought my nifty little gaming chair because uh, I watched all the streamers. You know, they're sitting for like hours at a time, so I figure if it's comfortable for them, be doing this for hours. I need this for work. This is my work slash gaming chair. Um, and then I was thinking once our office opens up and people start going back, I was going to do three days at the office and two at home. But my office kind of forced me if I wasn't going to do minimum four days uh, that I needed to give up my desk. I wasn't happy about it, but I started packing up my stuff and I realized, eh, I prefer just working at home. Uh, so now I'm a, I'm 
going to be full-time remote unless we need to go into the office. Which I'm fine with. a fan of coming back anymore. At least not on their timetable. I had a nice big uh, desk space. It was, um, we had three floors then. We had to consolidate and we gave up one floor, so now they kind of scrunched us up, so my very spacious desk now became smaller and I had four people in my immediate vicinity instead of just two, one on either side. So it, it became much more busy. Um, the, the people next to me, it requires them to be talking all day. So I, I try to have like my headphones on and listening to music just so I wouldn't have to interact with them. It's not nice, but um, I like peace and quiet and I was no longer getting that. Here at home, it's a different sort of distraction. So I'm not sure if it's uh, any quieter, but you know, I can tune out my family and tell them I'm working is keep it down and they understand. Yeah, waste time driving for me is wasting time on a train because I take BART into the city. Um, parking at the BART station, taking the train, it was just, it was a lot. I almost took a job down in Silicon Valley and I timed it. That was going to be like a three hour commute every day because it's, you know, high traffic going to that part of the bay. Nope. Not for me. At least on the train, I could, you know, read or watch something on my phone. But driving is just sitting in a box. Other people sitting in the box. Although I started um, in September, I flew down to LA to see some friends and it, that was going to be like my task work vacation. So I worked in the hotel for four days and I'd see my friends on the weekends and in the evenings and I had like my work laptop and my gaming laptop on the side so I could be watching and listening to Twitch or, you know, whatever at the moment. and. I think I'm going to be able to do that, so I have another trip coming up in December after Thanksgiving because I'm going to work at a convention down in LA. I'm going to work in the hotel room. Yeah, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I already worked at the Silicon Valley convention with Adam Savage like a month ago. That seemed to go well. And they just announced that LA Comic Con is going to go to a full day instead of just two halves each day. Um, so it should be a nice experience. So I'm going to stop the game so we can go to the, uh, the stream raiders because it's just dragging too much energy. My stream is lagging. Yeah, 
thanks for stopping by scruffy i appreciate you being here i appreciate your great generosity with subscribing and all the subs um so have a good night have some good sleeps and i will talk to you later on your um on your next stream and uh, catch up with you on smeal and things some more do stream writers. So let's go do some nurse. See who we curse somewhere that's uh, densely. I'm gonna curse over here. Right, let's start this and go on. Ooh, this one's taking a while. I wonder if it's gonna come down to the clock again. All right, uh, congratulations to everybody. We won. That's good for us. See if we got any drops and skins, hopefully. All right, uh, Romeo Alpha Yankee, got some monies. PC Riddy, P Critty, got uh, Musketeer Scrolls, and Hot Doggy Dog got some flying uh, Rogue Squirrels, which is great. All right, so we're going to call it on this one, guys. If you're still in chat, let's prepare our raid. If you are not a subscriber, um, this is the raid call. If you are a subscriber, you are a recipient of you know, Scruffy's recent subs. This is the subscribe raid message. And you get to use our nice cute turtles and pineapples. So we're gonna go and friend called Jesus Gato Kitty or Jesus Gato Kitty. He's currently making some pumpkins and carving, getting ready for tomorrow. Um, he's also a friend of the stream. So I just wanted to say thank you for everybody who came by. Thank you so much to Scruffy 
for subscribing and gifting out all those great subs. And um, I hope to see you guys tomorrow if you come back for more Duolingo and get your German skills up. Except raid. Let me type it properly. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so thanks again for coming and joining me on my head scratcher of trying to figure out the puzzles for the room. Um, so until next time, I will see you guys tomorrow. So I hope everybody has a good night. Guten Abend and guten Schleeps. When I get to say sleeps, I will uh, definitely mention it in German. Oh, hi and bye, Gigo. Of course, you come right when we're uh, we're getting ready to trade. But thanks for stopping by. Hope you had a good uh, sleep and rest, and are ready to go this afternoon. And have a good rest of your day. <laughs>